Hello and welcome to this week's Wednesday Wisdom. This isn't the video I promised some people last week. That will appear next week. Um, not because I don't want to make it. Uh, I've actually told some of the story already. Um, but I'll tell the whole story next week. This week is going to be slightly different. But first, let's get the, uh, the usual out of the way. Desmond is fine. We didn't get to go away at the weekend. We were at a birthday party Saturday night. And so Desmond had the week off. Um, we're prepping for the invasion. The plan is complete. I've been in touch with a, a lot of people and we're going to be meeting up with a fair few people. Now nobody knows exactly where we are going to be yet. There's, there's um, certain areas. Um, but of course, with the way we're parking up, we have to have the park up we plan and we have to have backups. So I'm not letting anybody know until we actually get a car park or a park up where we are. But I'll be in touch. We should have a signal um, in England. Uh, if we don't, then uh, we'll use semaphore or something. The plan is largely in place and now we just need the cooperation of the weather and other such and uh, our winter invasion will go ahead. So the subject of this week's Wednesday Wisdom and I'm going to have to do a fair bit of reading on this I'm afraid because some of it needs to be quoted but I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep that to a minimum. So what am I going to talk about? Well I'm going to talk about copper fever. C -O PPA fever. It's uh, for those that haven't come across it yet. Where have you been? Um, YouTube is alive with panic about this legislation. But where's it come from? What does it mean? And are they right? Lots of questions you should be asking. First of all, let's deal with the the practical. You're given three options effectively on YouTube. The new options are not made for kids, made for kids and over 18. Now the over 18 has always been there. But the other two, 99% of you are probably going to want to set not made for kids. Unless you're one of that few that are targeting kids. In which case, click that button and carry on. You'll see why in a little bit. If you're not targeting your videos at kids, click not made for kids and you carry on. Just carry on as normal and you'll see why. Right, okay. What's the background to copper? Well, Google is in trouble yet again for exploiting personal data. Not YouTube, notice, Google, the parent company. They were fined, not only by the FTC, but in a number of EU countries. For example, $57 million for breach of the GPDR in January. GPDR is the new regulations in the European Union for data protection. But the one, the big fine, the fine that everybody is talking about is a $170 million fine by the FTC for copper breaches. But they're also now in trouble over hidden pages diverting data, personal data, to advertisers. It's all about data collection, not just kids. Kids is the specific um, remit of copper, but other data protection legislation is being breached as well. And to quote one of the uh, investigators, this constant leaking of personal data that seems to be happening constantly needs to be urgently addressed. It's not particularly well worded by the, the, the person, but there you go. That's what uh, he says. It's all about personal data. So what is the copper rule? 
And here's a summary of it, which I'm going to read. Copper, C-O-P-P-A, imposes certain requirements on operators of websites or online services directed to children under 13 years of age and on operators of other websites or online services that have actual knowledge that they are collecting personal information online from a child under 13 years of age. Okay, simple. Websites or operators of websites and other online services. Let's go into who does copper apply to? Again, a summary. The rule applies to operators of commercial websites and online services, including mobile apps, directed to children under 13 that collect, use or disclose personal information from children. So copper is not what you should be worried about. You make your video, put it on the platform, and then every time it plays, YouTube, via Google, are collecting data of the people that watch your videos. Now, if you're worried about your content of your videos, you really need to be looking at the CEPA laws. And believe me, I suspect the FCC, not the FTC, would have been at you by now for you guys in America, because they've been in place since 2000. Right? C-I-P-A. I, th I think the I is, is a small I, but it's, uh, it's the relevant. It's the child protection laws, the ones that actually prevent you exploiting children. That may be applied if you're exploiting child actors or etc. So let's not go into what that's all about. It'll only kick off something else when YouTube put a button in for it. So just to summarise, Copper, while it does apply in what you make, in that it may be attractive to children, the responsibility for collecting data is not yours. Not according to the research I've done. And my research was not done on YouTube. It was done using business magazines. It was done using advice from correct sources and not people spouting on YouTube. I hope it helps somebody, but at the end of the day, I'm just having my say. Talking of the end of the day, switching platforms on an open web will not change anything as far as individuals are concerned over the type of content. These days, I'm not sure Tor and the dark web would protect folk. At the end of the day, it's your choice. If you really think you're affected, and get some legal advice. I wrote a lot of that down because I wanted to sort of get it right as far as my opinion. Um, and I'm sorry this has perhaps not been the, uh, the best of Wednesday Wisdom videos, but I had enough of it and I just wanted to have my say. If you're still watching, Friday's upcoming video is, of course, the journey to Aaron. The video part of the journey, having seen the photos on Monday. And next week, on Monday and Friday, we have photos and video from the island itself in the first part of our actual on-island uh, visit. And Wednesday, there'll be some wisdom, and I promise it'll be the tale that I didn't get to tell this week. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoppers. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.